Who do we have in studio this morning with us? Well, we have Donna and Rika, and uh, they're going to talk to us a little bit about what they've been up to yesterday in the rain mm-hmm. and the cold and wet. Um, but uh, just uh, before we do that, just wanted to catch up on uh, the World Migratory Bird Day, which mm-hmm. happened last week, mm. bringing awareness to migratory birds and their habitats, because we are busy messing up with that as well. Um, and then Day of the Families and highlighting the importance of family units because these problems that Donna and Rick are going to uh, bring up, these issues, would not be there if there was a family unit that could guide and mentor and role model the um, youth into mm-hmm. doing stuff that mm-hmm. they shouldn't be doing. So responsibility of keeping your family together, of keeping the unit together um, is very, very, very important for all levels um, in life. And that's it. Yesterday I was driving in the <laughs> rain to a meeting in Pakersdorp mm-hmm. and I saw... Um, my favorite spot in, in York Street, because I've also protested there a couple of times <laughs> with you. <laughs> um, I saw this crowd of um, wet, <laughs> very wet characters, oh. but really standing there fighting for something. I thought, no, this has got to, I have to go. And so I had my camera on me, so I stopped mm-hmm, and I took mm-hmm. a couple of photos. And then I asked Donna, what's going on? And obviously the posters were very, very... Um, descriptive uh-huh, as to what uh-huh. the cause right. was yes. about and I took some photos of that and they are on Wesa Facebook page. You know what an interesting thing one of our guys as well Jason Stanley uh, he posted up pictures of I wasn't sure I, the pictures are actually he's he's a bit far so I can't really read what's on the placards or, or, or whatever but Donna what were you guys doing while we were sleeping? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was sleeping raining we and it was cold and we were having hot chocolate and you guys were on a mission. Yes, we were, were having such fun. We were so inspired. Uh-huh. We actually had the best day ever. And you know what? We had such amazing support. Yes. Uh-huh. In the rain on a weekday, over 30 people supported us. We had huge amounts of messages flowing into our events page. We had hoots from people who couldn't physically come here to fetch their kids at school. And but I tell you what, it was a great success and we made a lot of noise and huge awareness mm-hmm. yes. to George. That's the important, actually, that's the important part, okay. the awareness that comes with it. For and those who just joined us, what, was, like, what were you guys fighting for? What were you trying to make people aware of? Uh, we definitely were um, fighting strongly mm-hmm. against animal cruelty, mm-hmm. but focusing on the horrific dog fighting. And to bring awareness to the public about these syndicates who are so extremely powerful and dangerous and also to inform the public who don't know that their pets Mm -hmm. every single one of their pets is in danger Mm -hmm. these guys have scouts paid scouts that scout the streets and report back they know what dog you own and they plan their next theft because unfortunately the poor pit bulls who are born with a death sentence to these syndicates are trained to fight. Oh my goodness. They, they uh, put, uh, our own pit bulls and anyone who does can tell you they are the most beautiful breed. In mm-hmm. fact, on a scale of, um, you know, uh, dogs with tolerance, they mm-hmm. rate number two after a golden retriever. Mm-hmm. They love children. They originated as nanny dogs mm-hmm. in, the, in the United States where they actually were were kept to care and nanny children Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and unfortunately in the hands of bad people they can be trained to become terrorists exactly they're a power Mm -hmm, they've got a strong jaw they're they're, that's then their their physique Mm -hmm. and uh, anyone should know that um your dog is a direct reflection of you Mm -hmm. however you raise your dog is the way yes it's it's like it's like having your own child basically you know how they say parents uh your child is a a reflection of you as a parent and your parents always tell you when you go out there remember that you are representing me and you're reflecting me so how you raise your dog and how you treat it is actually it will show within the dog that okay i've been i've been raised to rip people's meat off (laughs) it's also it's not an easy process and it's not a i mean what these dogs go through is horrific it can't be nice for the dogs themselves Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. really as from a puppy they are kept 
in cages. I mean, there's no love show. Because they need to be aggressive, they so they to. have to be emotionless. Mm-hmm. Exactly. They Basically. kept in small cages. They are beaten. They are sometimes oh beaten with planks with nails sticking out of them. They are starved. They, these um, people do absolutely everything possible to bring out the aggression. Then once in the state of fear, confusion, mm-hmm. um, starvation, they will oh start goodness. with puppies throwing at them a kitten. Mm. As they grow older, the smaller breed dogs. Mm-hmm. That's why I tell you, all your dogs That's are you in danger. you got to be careful with your dogs. And finally, the finale is pit bull on pit bull, where they have to learn to tear up their own breed. And, sorry, I'm quite emotional about this. Yes, and, um, I can see. And then they actually, you know, the dog tossed into this this fight it's no fight they're never meant to win their mouths are taped shut they have um, collars and ropes put onto them where the people holding the ropes will pull the dogs aggressively so that the dog being trained thinks that this helpless pet maybe even used to sleeping in your bed mm-hmm. is going for it when it's not and the attack starts and that's the end of the poor victim Oh my goodness. This happens in George people. This happens in our hoods. This is the kind of aggression and energy that we are living in amongst. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it's not really conducive to you know, um, on, on happy that, moments. Yeah, on that note, we've actually in the past, if you remember, Krista and I used to talk a lot about people who are complaining about how it was actually during the the people fighting you know a saga uh, there were other people also complaining about how uh, thieves now use those dogs to rob people you know they, they are literally walking in the streets and they rob people and because you're so terrified of this dog that is vicious uh, you know you, you're gonna give away your goods because you, you're scared for your life basically it, it is horrifying because it is dogs are such beautiful creatures I also have dogs I have I have a beautiful Jack Russell. He's very vibrant, very loud, yes. and very naughty. <laughs> <As they are>. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and he's he's great. You know, he's great. We we don't. He's very. What I've noticed about him is that he's very protective. Dogs are extremely yeah. protective, and if, and if he sees people fighting, he doesn't like it. Dogs are just soft. That's when I actually started loving dogs because you realize they're just like other human beings. They don't like violence. They don't necessarily like things that are like, you know, causing commotion. And and then you actually get people that train such beautiful, beautiful creatures and turn them into something they're actually really not. And, and Nolly, it's for money. Oh, goodness. So that's, that's and where... Ego. And? Ego. And, and ego. Well, yes, that... Man ha- ha- carries that with him mm-hmm. all the time. So, but yes, because your dog and I do see, I do see um, uh, pit bulls on leashes, often walking down our streets, um, and I wonder. And you, you know, they, you look at the dog and it's looking healthy, and there's no marks on it, and you think, okay, well, but just know um, that a pit bull near you in this town, anywhere, is will be raised um, mm-hmm. for for money because it is one way of getting money and I remember seeing a poster yesterday <laughs> go and get a job loser <laughs> <laughs> really <Is it> actually <laughs> using animals to get you money goodness gracious yeah I'm I guess hi hi Mora I will first play a lot of thank you so for the opportunity that we can be mm-hmm. here so as I always say I have pit bull blood in me I live for them I am absolutely lief for them mm-hmm. Maar ongelukkig is daar mense buite wat dit wat verskrikkelijk breed is. Um, ek gaan nou ongelukkig en ek verwijs na die lokaties. Ons allemaal weer die meeste gevechte gebeur daar. Baie keer is die ouders nie eers bewust daarvan nie. Die, bijvoorbeeld die kind het die pitbull, die ma- ma- ouders gaan werk, hy kom van die school af, hy gaan beklei my raai hond en gaan sit om terug in die hoek. Die, mm-hmm. die hond krij nie een veerts wat om help nie. Die hond moet vanself gezond raak. Ek dink net, ek, wat ek graag wil lees, die ouders moet meer bewust wees van wat hulle kinders doen in die maraal. As jy pitbull by jou huis sit, gaan kyk, is die hond gebuid, is hy beseer. Wel die SPCA, hulle is daar om te help. Maar wat gebeur is, die oukies weer is onwettig, so hulle kry nie hulp vir die honde nie. Mm-hmm. Die honde moet daar in pijn le, hulle moet vanself gezond raak, en as hulle te erg gebuid is, te maak hulle die hond dood, of hulle begraaf hulle die, die honde levendig. Dit is, jylle, dit is een verskrikkelijke story. Ek, ons het die publiek nodig 
om te help dat dit gestop kan raak. Die SPCI kan het niet alleen doen. Nie. Hulle, ek denk hulle, ek denk hulle het vier inspecteren. Hoe kan hulle, hulle kan nie by alles uitkom he. Ja. Um, dit, dit is niet, dit is een story wat net nie wil opbouw nie. Ek het rechtig, ons het die publiek nodig om te help. Daai klein, hulle vat papies, hulle sit daai klein hoentje in hoek. Maak om agressief van kleins af. Hy word geleer om agressief te wees. Een pitbull is niet een agressieve hond nie. Ek het een pitbull daar in my pitbull slaap in my bed. Het is my kind, sy is so lief vir mense. Sy is nie daar om seer te maak nie. Die type ouwens geef pitbulls een slechte naam. Nou, as jy hoor en sê iemand, oe, ek wil nie pitbull heen nie, dit is gevaarlijke honde. Dit is nie gevaarlijke honde nie, dit is die ouwens die buiten, waar die honde een slechte naam gee, en dit moet gestop raak. En wat vir my so hard sê is, as die SPCI inspecteer, vir baie iemand rui wat met die hond loop, en die hond het buitmerke aan hom, al wat hy sê is, my hond was gesteel, dit is nie my schuld nie. Die dom met die bed kom wat sê, dat die inspecteer die hond kan vat, anders gaan elke ou sê, my hond was gesteel, ek het nie geveg met hom nie, ek weet nie wie dit was nie. So amal kom weg daarmee. Al wat ek vraag, laat die bed verander, as die SPCI inspecteer die hond sien, wat gebuid is, dat hulle die hond kan vat. Want hoe anders te gaan ons dit stop? Het is net so goed, ek loop nou in Jokstraat af, ek het nou bosblomme in my hand, ek het het gesteel, maar ek sê, ek het het nie gesteel nie, ek het het gevat. Al wat ek vraag, laat iemand die bed daar moet verander, as daar hond is wat mishandel raak, pitboe wat sy oor met die sker afgesnui raak, die inspecteer moet die regie om my hond te vat. En as jylle een hond sien wat gebuid is, mishandel raak, nie net pitbulls nie enig hond, asseblief mense, skakel die SPCI, hulle noodnummer is 082-378-7384, of skakel die kantoor by 044-878-1990. Dankie baie. There we go. It's cruelty all around, actually. The increase of animal cruelty, Cruelty. cruelty is on a high. On a high, it's yes. Awesome. And spiraling badly. Okay, you guys. Unfortunately, geez, this time flies when there are serious issues that need to be discussed. Uh, any last words? So, wrap up. We have a petition on the go that we would like as many people to sign up. Please, very, very important. There is a website. Um, change.org change please um, just put your name on there we need because uh, Donna is actually going to Helen Zilla with this um, and the petition and a letter and Helen is going to be addressing it um, but obviously we need big numbers on this thing so please if you I want a million we want a million. If you are, it's change.org. Um, otherwise, just go and find us. Uh, Eden FM will have a post up on it. Donna, just look up for Donna or, or write a little note. Leave us a note and say, where do we get? And we'll, we'll get back to you. But change.org. Sign up your name and um, just help us to a- address it. It's it's right. not a very nice thing. Um, just f- something very beautiful. The greatness of a nation and its moral progress can be judged by the way its animals are treated. Mahatma mm-hmm. Gandhi. Well, there we go. Okay. Any last words from you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, I would just like to say on behalf of the activists uh, yesterday and our our wonderful team that got this all together on such short notice, Mm -hmm. to the supporters and and, uh, from the supporters and the millions of animals that we are here for, we'd like to thank everyone for the support, love and care. And we hope that from this point on, cruelty will be acknowledged and acted upon. Instead of people just blanking it out and pushing it aside, it's actually this has to stop. Mm-hmm. Um, you, we have to be their voices. We need to care. It is the only hope they have. Amanda to the wolves. <laughs> okay, well, there we heard it. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for that. Uh, yes, please. That, that was a message uh, for pit bull awareness. Please just check your dogs. If you have a pit bull at home, just make sure he doesn't have any bite marks. We're trying to minimize the number of horrific incidents that are happening. Uh, pit, bull, pit bull fighting out there. Yo. Yeah, I'm still a little yeah, shocked a little, but yes, Very it's the reality that we all have to face. The time now is three minutes to eight, so it's almost time for me to bring you your news at 8 a.m. in English. But for now, though, my f-